All right. Well, welcome to yet another session of the digital marketing training, guys. Today it's the third session. Thank you so much for joining in. I do want to check with everybody if you guys are able to hear me loud and clear, and also if you can see my screen. Can you acknowledge that in the chat window, please? So all those who have joined in, all right, you can see my screen and also you can uh, hear my voice loud and clear, right? Thanks, Anu, for acknowledging. How about others? Pratik, Mukul, Anuja, Anuj, are you guys able to hear me loud and clear? And can you see my screen? Please do acknowledge in the chat window. All right, thanks, Mukul, for acknowledging. How about others? Pratik, Anuja, and Anuj. All right, so I believe everybody can hear me loud and clear. I'm assuming this. So let's begin with today's session, guys. So whenever we start with a new session, we do a recap. We do a recap in terms of what was being covered across previously. I would request each one of you to do type in across the topics, guys, which you remember from the previous session. And then we'll take across your doubts, clarification, and so forth, right? So I would request each one of you do, to do type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session, guys. All right, so Mukul says we talk about the domain name. Absolutely right, Mukul. Thanks, yes, we did. What else? And Atanu says it was about web presence. We spoke about, and we spoke about the website purchase, the domain name. And Mukul said it was about social media like Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. That is correct. Right, so we spoke about having across a web presence. And uh, within that, we spoke about also having across a responsive website, right? We spoke about the TLDs. That is correct. I hope you guys did receive across the recordings, right? Did you guys get the recordings? All right, perfect. That's great. All right, anything else which you want to point out that this is what we have covered across in the previous session? Any other topic, guys, which you want to point out with regards to whatever we have covered across in the previous session? About domain and hosting. Yes, absolutely. All right, so let's uh, move further. I hope uh, others are also able to hear me, right? So I can see only Atanu, Mukul, and Anuja. Uh, Typing in across Howard and, and also Mukul, right? Uh, Pratik, are you able to hear me? So let's move forward. I would uh, like you to pinpoint across the questions, topics, uh, questions, doubts, queries you have got so that I can go ahead and uh, help you out with your queries. So I know uh, quite a few have actually sent me across the details with regards to GoDaddy, and I'll go ahead and show you today how do we really go ahead and set up across our website by getting across domain and hosting connected. Today I'll be giving you across the hosting for to each one of you, and we'll connect your domain with the hosting panel, and then we'll move ahead and start with creation of installation of WordPress and creation of the website finally. Any doubts, guys? Are you all good? No doubts? All right, Atanu. So Atanu is good. Mukul, are you good? Uh, Anuja, Anuj. All right. 
Thanks, Satanu, Mukul, and Anuja for acknowledging that uh, you're good. So let's move forward and start with today's session. All right. All right, so what I would uh, need from each one of you to, is to go ahead and uh, open across your GoDaddy panel, guys. Atun says, uh, change the setting to everyone. All right, so uh, Anuja, you can change across your chat setting to everyone, please, so that everyone can see what exactly you're typing in. All right, you've done that. Perfect. Now we'll move forward with today's session. And like I said, we'll start with getting across our website set up. I'll be giving you the hosting panel for all of you. I think everyone has got their domain uh, being bought. All right. Satanu has got that. Anuja has got that. All right, let me just pull up. All right, Anuj, Anuj, okay. I think this is your first session, right? But you must have got the session recorded session right uh so you haven't really i mean there's no need to be worried about so when you've got the recorded session follow the recording with regards to whatever i have uh, instructed everyone in you know within the recording you could you could get that and in the same manner just buy across a domain for yourself in the most uh, effective and the cheapest manner i have shown the trick in that in the previous session, you'll, you'll get that across in the recording. Follow that approach by the domain. In case of any query, you can you always have people uh, within this batch to help you out, right? I think you guys have your own WhatsApp group with uh, Nitin being the admin of it. So you guys can actually interact with each other and help each other out also. So what I'm doing, I'm moving ahead, Anuj. You can follow that approach, all right, as we move forward. I'm opening across a GoDaddy account. Now, from wherever you have purchased, your domain, whether it's from GoDaddy or whether it's from uh, any other place, it hardly matters. You just have to go ahead and first of all log in. You have to log in to that specific website from wherever you have purchased the domain. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and probably log into. I won't be logging into any one of yours account, guys. The reason is that I want you to perform this step which i am going to be doing it right away in front of you so what we'll be doing right now we are we have purchased the domain we now want to change across domain name server so there's something called name server guys which we'll be changing across in order to connect across our website domain with the hosting hosting which i'm going to give you let me First of all, give you some information about hosting panel, guys. Hosting panel is the technology where we are able to make our, uh, you know, store across or make our website files go live and get stored across. All right. So one of the most popular hosting server is by HostGator, and there are several others. So the one which I'm going to give you across is from HostGator, guys. Otherwise, you can purchase across hosting from the same people. GoDaddy also gives across, and then there are several people, several uh, websites, several uh, you know uh, people who uh, several uh, hosting providers which are there. You would go ahead and type in across in the Google search engine, you'll find quite a many. Why I'm recommending HostGator because uh, I have tried and tested it. It's been almost uh, 15 years. I've been using it, and uh, it's been great in terms of every single thing. Now, if you want to do it yourself, let's say you want to go ahead and uh, at any given point, point of time, later on, you want to buy cross hosting yourself. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is you have to, you know, select the plan. Let's say you select uh, the most basic one, which is all right. So I'm just moving ahead and showing you. So the most basic one is the uh, hatching plan doesn't really, so it's for a single domain. So you can only select single domain. You can either go for hatching plan or baby plan. I'm not going to make you buy this since I'm going to give you this, but I'm still letting you know that this is what you have to do. It's simple, very simple, just like buying across something on an online shopping website or the way you have purchased across the domain also, you have to follow, you have to follow the same approach. Let's say you go with, so the plan which I am having across is my reseller plan. 
So that is way too expensive. But uh, this is the most these are the most basic ones, all right. So if we talk about the baby plan, which is very much a basic plan, all you have to do is if you would buy a class maybe at a later stage, you have to click on to uh, get that particular plan, enter your domain name, type in across, select the plan which you want to buy, your username, your if you have to you know, create across a security pin, which is going to be four to eight digits, your billing information, as you can see, there is no rocket science over here. Now, don't go for these additional services. Now, I've been getting cross queries uh, when you guys were actually buying across domains, shall we buy this extra thing? Shall we buy that extra thing? I think a uh, couple of people did ask me. I didn't mention, don't go, don't go for all of those things, right? So uh, as of now, you can, you can stay away from all these things, right? The backup thing, or you can stay away from uh, the security point of view and so forth. All right. This uh, coupon, they already provided themselves. And then they let you know what exactly is the price. So this is $214, which is, I believe it's for, for an year for, this is for, sorry, 36, three years. If I'll go with one month, this is going to be the price. And uh, so the price is mentioned for, uh, whatever plan you go for. All right. Now, this is just a quick glance of how you can really go ahead and purchase the hosting. I don't want to, uh, I don't want you to go ahead and purchase it right now since you have already been part of our training session. So that is included in it. And the amount, guys, which you have spent across on the domain, even that would be refunded to you. You can connect with Nathan. And uh, Nitin will help you to actually get across that amount refunded to your bank account. So what I am doing right now on one side, on one particular tab, I have got my GoDaddy account set up, a GoDaddy account logged in. And on the other uh, tab, guys, this is my C panel. This is my panel of, what do you say, my hosting, my, my host data hosting. Now with, uh, what do you say, with this panel of mine, I will be going ahead and giving each one of you We'll be giving each one of you access, a server, basically. All right. So I've got multiple websites, you know, set up over here uh, on this server. I'll go ahead and set up across all of your domains today within this session itself. Now, I am now switching the slides. Instead of hosting right now, I want you to now jump onto GoDaddy, which each one of you have got right now. So HostGator is something which you don't have right now. Now within your GoDaddy account, what I want you to do is go to uh, the My Account option where the domains are there. All right, so I don't have any domain with this account. Let me just log into the other account. So there is something called name server guys, which we will be changing right now. These name server detail guys is something through which we are able to connect to which we will be able to connect across to our hosting server and our, what do you say? Domain name. All right. So I'm just logging into one of the code daddy account. Let me see if I've got a domain on that. Not sure whose account I'm signing in. So these are some already saved. Okay. All right, so I might have to use any one of yours account details on me guys just to, because uh, I cannot get across a specific account but from where I can. All right, maybe this one would work. Let me try the last time. All right. All right, so my domain has actually got expired right now, but still I can show it to you. 
So what you have to do is you have to go to the domain section, guys. Click onto the domain which you have, and then go to the domain settings section. Let me know if you guys are able to reach to the domain settings option. In the domain settings, there is going to be. All right, I won't get this option because it's, you know, it's right up over here. There's going to be a particular section, guys. A particular two two entries, which is called name server. The so name server is something which we have to go for. We have to uh, go ahead and get that edited. Why is that so? Because whenever we will be buying across, whenever we will buy across a hosting, guys, we will be provided with two three things by the hosting provider. All right. One is going to be the name server. The other is going to be the username and password and the login URL of the server. All right. Let me just open across my document and tell you that. So we were done with the first option, which we're buying across the domain, right? Now hosting server is the second one, second step. So hosting provider, guys. Whenever we'll be buying, whenever we we would be done with buying the hosting, guys, it will give us the username and password. So you can have a look at my screen, and then uh, we'll we'll move further together. Username and password of the C panel. So C panel means, guys, control panel. The control panel of your hosting server would be provided to you. The URL, basically, where from where you can log in, plus the. Uh, what is called name server details now name server details guys is something which the hosting provider will only provide to us and this would be this would look something like this the name server details is going to be something like this ns. you know xyz.com ns.xyz.com ns2. right so something like this so name server details would be provided to us by our hosting provider i'll give you the name server details which you guys have to type in within your domain because since i am giving you the hosting uh, server right so the name server would be provided to you by uh, me and also the c panel details would be provided by me to each one of you now after this step 2 guys the step 3 is to go and connect across hosting and the domain the hosting and the domain All right, so I'm just typing in across. Uh, what do you say? The name server details, guys, which you have to type in across. It's ns one dot internet hosting packages dot com. All right, so I'll just give you across these name server details, guys. So in first name server details, you have to dot type ns1, and in the second one, it is ns2 dot internet hosting packages dot com. So here are the name server details. Whenever you have any questions, any doubts, guys, make sure you ask me within by typing it across in the chat window for sure. Okay. So this is the name server details, guys, which you have to go ahead and type in across in your GoDaddy panel. When you will go to your GoDaddy panel, you have to look for this name server option by getting into the settings tab. When you go into the account settings, you will get the name server details. You have to click on to change, all right, and then select the option custom, and then type in across. The name server details right up over here. All right. So I believe everybody is able to hear me loud and clear. And can uh, are able to follow me up, right? Can I get a quick confirmation, guys? 
are you all good so far? I think that the chant isn't coming across, so that's why I'm wondering whether you guys can hear me. All right, thanks, Atanu. So what I have done, this is the next step which we have done after account settings. So after account settings, what you have to do is, uh, you have to look for, one second, you have to look for the name server settings section, Mukul. You have to look for in the manage domain section. So in the domain section, when you will click on to my domains, click on to my domains, then click on to your domain name, okay? You have to look for name server tab. The name server tab is something where we have to make the editing, all right? We have to get the editing part done, all right? So, so manage DNS is what I am clicking on. So it's actually underneath the settings section. Or either you'll find it in the settings section or underneath the domain section. Just uh, just click here and there. I mean, on different settings, on different things. But uh, at the end of the day, at the end, you have to really go ahead and uh, go to this section called name servers. All right. And in the name server, you have to click on to custom and the name server details, which I have given you which is right up over here, that has to be punched in. I was not sure why the chat isn't going across. Okay, here you go. Name server is not coming across for you. Let me just log into your account and show you. Give me a second. So, can I uh, have your username and password for the code ID? So first I was trying to change it for each one of you. Then I thought, okay, let me go ahead and uh, teach you and make each one of you do it yourself, right? Within the session so that you're all right, you can type in a cross password in the private chat. All right, no problem, you can change it later on. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna uh, show it once again how to go to the name server settings section. I'm logging into the GoDaddy account. All right, so you haven't verified it, then, uh, your email address, so that's why you might not get it. So it says verify your email address. Can you just verify it once? I have sent in across a email. So there would be an email which you'll get from GoDaddy. You have to click onto that. Uh, you have to open that email and confirm your email address. There would be a link through which you have to confirm. All right, so what you have to do is you have to go to the domain section and then click on to domain settings. And then click on to manage DNS, okay? So what we have done over here, I am clicking on to manage DNS. In the manage DNS section, we have got the records on the top and then we have name server. So here your name server details are there. And in the name server, I have, I'm selecting custom and instead of default custom and I'm entering across the name server details over here.
All right, so I've got the name server details guys being mentioned right up over here, as you can see, and I'm clicking on to save. All right, so Athanu, you have to confirm across your email address. The name server details guys have been configured for Athanu's uh, GoDaddy account. So that's something through which her uh, hosting server and her account. So Atanu's uh, hosting server and Atanu's, uh, what do you say, domain are going to be connected now. All right. So I hope that confirmation has been done by you, Atanu. Anyone else who's facing any problem? Are you guys done with changing the name server? Anyone else? Who's, you're not getting name servers, Anuja. Anuja, give me your username and password, so I'll just go ahead and show you. Thanks, Anu, for letting me know that it's been verified. All right, Pratik says, uh, I don't have domain or account right now. I'm facing difficulty in understanding. I'll do it today. I'm having confusion. I told you yesterday that it has to be, so I sent you a note yesterday that it has to be made public registration. Why didn't you do it yesterday itself? When you asked me, I answered to you that it has to be, not sure why you did it this way. All right, so any anyone else? So Mukul, are you able to do it? Mukul, you got that? Guys, if you are uh, facing any problem, do let me know. So I'm logging into Anuja's account and showing it once again. How can you? Edit across the name so details. All right. Now here I am within the GoDaddy account. All right, sure, Mukul, I'll just check that. In the account setting, in the uh, in this particular account, what we have to do is I'm clicking onto my products. Pradeek, you can uh, buy it across right away if you wish to, the domain part. All right, so I'm clicking onto the domain section. And here's the domain. And I'm clicking onto domain settings. And within the domain settings, Manage DNS. All right. I'm selecting manage DNS within this. So after clicking on to domain settings, I'm clicking on to manage DNS. DNS stands for domain name server. All right. Now here we have got the record section. It's the same screen. It's the same screen which came earlier for uh, Atanu's account. And now this is for Anuja's account. I can, you can see name server. I'm clicking on to change. All right. And there are two options, default and custom. I'm selecting custom, and here I'm typing in across the name server details. All right, so these are the name server details, guys, which uh, I have already provided in the chat window, and I'm typing that across. This is the name server detail, guys, of my server which i uh, would be giving to you all right so now this is being done it's been uh, saved across now you understood atanu perfect and i believe anuja you have also anuja your account has been done let me just now show it once again the third time you got it perfect from uh, mukul's account and pratik uh, you can be quick in terms of uh, buying it across if you want to do it right away uh, else, if you want to wish to do it later, that's also okay. And who else is there? I know you will do it later. All right.
All right, showing it one more time. Okay, so Mukul was saying there's some error. Let me just go ahead and have it look into it. All right, so here's the first screen. I'm going into the domain section again and clicking on the domain settings. Now, I'm going further down, clicking on to manage DNS. And here we can see, all right, so name server it has been changed by you. I'm clicking on to change, and it's custom ns1.internet hosting packages.com, ns2.internet hosting packages.com. It's done perfectly, uh, Mukul. So, this particular uh, Thing are you talking about this particular error we're talking about mokul features may be unavailable unavailable while we process your updates all right so what happens is this i, I can tell you so you know when we change the name server details it sometimes takes uh, one to two hours for this change to take place uh, the maximum time which godaddy says is two days we'll we'll see it since we have changed uh, three domain name server right now we'll see if uh, all three for all three of you it will uh, get changed within and one hour time after the break. Maybe we can, you know, check that. How we will check that? That also I'll let you know. So that's what GoDaddy was saying that your features would be unavailable till the time this change uh, doesn't take place in full. That's what. All right. So as of now, your uh, what I want you to do is give me across your. Uh, Domain names one by one. All right, so Anuj, you have also purchased your domain. That's good. Do you want to share across your GoDaddy account details or whichever from wherever you have purchased it? And Pratik, if you have also purchased it, you can let me know your GoDaddy details and then we can take it further. So, and then I'll uh, let me just pull up the Excel sheet also. But I'll all right, so Anuj, are you providing me the uh, details uh, or are you doing it yourself, whichever way let me know? So that I can get a confirmation that shall I move further? All right, thanks uh, so much. I'll just go ahead and use that across. All right, then you need some time. It's okay. Perfect. All right, so Anuj will provide me later, and so Vic is not present today. Uh, can you guys give me your so Anuja's for fashion for fab? So I'm typing it across your domain names, guys. Fashion for fab dot com, and can I get others? Satanu, so can I? Can you give me your email? What's your domain name? And Mukul, your domain name also again, and. Anuja also. Anuja has given, sorry, Atanu and Mukul. All right, and Mukul, can I have yours also? All right, guys, so what I'm doing right now, now this is, uh, so let me just go ahead and go back to my documents. Within the documents, 
I have mentioned all the steps, right? So what do we have done? We have got the domain uh, purchased. We got the hosting. So you can consider the hosting has been purchased. The name server details. I made you understand what exactly that is. And uh, we have connected the hosting and the domain with the help of the name server, right? The name server details, guys, is something which we have already set up across. We have changed that. So step number three is also being done. All right, the step has been done. Now, what we have to do is we have to open the C panel of the hosting provider, which I'll I'll give you across. Let me now go ahead and configure across your C panel. So one by one, I'll give you the C panel, guys. So starting with this one. So this is fashion for fab. And uh, now, guys, I would like you to select across a specific. Uh, password for your control panel and what you can do is submit across that password within uh, the chat by using the private chat option just send it to me all right just send it to me so fashion for fab it's for you anuja i'm setting that up for you right now so your username for your c panel is going to be this All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, across for everyone right now. So that's why it will take some time. But uh, you don't have to do this step. This step won't be do it, done across by each one of you. Reason being, uh, you're not buying across the hosting, right? So all right, so I'm, I'm keeping across the password. All right, so I've given you across the details and give me a second. So I'm setting up your C panel as of now. Your C panel would be set up and once that's been done, you will be able to. All right, so you can anytime change that across, all right? So that's something which I would request you since this is, uh, the details are gonna be public right now, you can change them later on. You don't have to do anything as of now, so I'm setting it up for each one of you. Well, I'll, I'll just show you what exactly you have to do. So as of now, you don't have to do anything. I, so this is, I have done it across for Anuja. So it's on for Anuja and let me just go ahead and do it for, Atanu and also Mukul. So I'll. So this is like the purchasing of the hosting. All right. So which is something which I'm not asking you to do as of now. All right, so just give me a few more minutes and I'll be set up with this entire part, guys. So I'm giving you across the server. And here we go. 
So Anuja, you've got the details, and Atanu, you have also got the details for your cPanel, right? I'll just show you how do we uh, log into our cPanel and how do we do the next step. All right. So that's been done for a couple of you, and here we go. Now comes with so third one. So you know this panel, guys, which I'm using across right now, it's my reseller, reseller uh, server panel. So that's something which you won't get. What you will get across is uh, the C panel for your only one single domain, which I have a couple of you, and we'll show you how to open that across in a second. All right, so I'm doing it, uh, the last one, which is for Mukul. And All right, so I believe each one of you have got your details right with your username and password, along with the username and password. There's gonna be a cPanel login, uh, login URL. The cPanel login URL, how, how is that gonna come up? I'll just show you in a second. So I'm done with setup of this. Thanks, Mukul, for acknowledging. All right, so it's done in full perfectly. Now, what I want you guys to do is open across the C panel in what way? I'm going to take across. Uh, all right, so what you have to do is you have to type in across. Now, the next step, guys, is to open across your C panel. What do you have to do with your C panel? How is, gonna, how is that gonna be opened across, guys? You have to type in your website name, your website name, let's say passionforfab.com, forward slash C panel, all right? Forward slash, slash C panel. Let me just see whether it's been configured, all right? So it's been configured as of now for Anuja. Yes, please, Anuja, go ahead with your question. So I'm saying it again, your website name, name server denotes the server. Can we recognize server with the help of this? See, uh, nothing can be recognized with the help of this because uh, name server details is something which is pretty much uh, your customer ID is this. So uh, by getting to see someone's, uh, you know, name server, you won't be able to do anything. You won't, you won't be able to uh, do anything because you won't be able to get, understand who's, uh, you know, what is the, who's the hosting provider? I mean, what, what, what exactly are you trying to look at? There is one website which is called whois.com, which I've shown you yesterday, website name and then after. Yeah, website name and then after. Then after that, forward slash C panel. So uh, Anuja, if you're trying to, uh, what is the uh, uh, overall objective of looking at the name server? So nothing, nobody would be able to do anything with your name server details, even if they find it out. Finding out the name server is something which is pretty easy by getting into this website called whois.com. If you remember, have I shown you this website called whois.com? 
right? I think last time I had shown you this website, right? So you're trying to look at find out hosting provider of particular website. See if you want to do it. Who is dot com is the website through which you can find out the hosting provider. All right. That's uh, so. Atanu, it's not going to be just Atanu Hathi forward slash C panel. Your entire website name, your entire website was what dot com also. If you're missing out on dot com, dot com then forward slash C panel. All right. So let's say. Uh, Andre, if you want to see for your website now, which is fashionforfab.com, the only thing which you will be able to find out, if somebody wants to find out about your website, names or details would be found found out, but they would not be able to get anything else. They will be able to get your name, your email address, your phone number, and so forth. If you want to go ahead and uh, Make it private. You would have to give extra money to GoDaddy. You'd have to give extra money to GoDaddy to, uh, you know, make your details go private instead of the public one. Okay. So for this uh, section, as you can see, I'm clicking on to who is. And Anuja, your details are right up over here. Right? So your phone number, your uh, email address, that's all uh, public right now. And with regards to your server details, that's also going to be somewhere. So you can see it's GoDaddy, which is, so as of now, the server, it's, it has not been updated. It will change later on. It will show for host cater. Okay, so uh, let me know if it's, there is further more question. I can probably move ahead. So C panel guys, what you have to do is uh, you have to type in across your website name forward slash C panel. Is each one of you getting across the same screen? So Anuja's e. Uh, has been configured and Atanu's website has not been configured yet. That'll take some time. And um, I'm not sure whether Mukul's website has been, the CPAM has been configured right now or not. Let me just check. All right. So, Mukul's has been configured and let me just check for the new also. All right, so all three of you have got your C panel, right? Can you try logging into your C panels, guys? So this is something which you will get across from your hosting provider. All right, let me just uh, log in to one of the accounts. All right, so I'm using your account. Uh, Anuja to show it across, okay. But but you can still be logged in, all right. All right. So it says it's. Okay. I think I typed in the wrong credentials. All right. So once you're logged into your account, guys, to your C panel, basically, is that what you're able to see? 
All right, Anuja says yes, Mukul says yes, and Atanu, are you able to see this see see this screen when you're logged into your C panel? Anuj says no. Anuj, your uh, you haven't given me your domain, so how can your C panel be there? So you won't be able to see the screen for yourself for your account because you haven't uh, given me your your domain is there, but you haven't given your GoDaddy details. I asked you for that, and you said that that'll take time. You're still in the process. Till the time I don't get GoDaddy account details and the name servers have not been configured. Your C panel has not been configured by me. I asked you for that. You said that it's it's taking time. It's in process. We have your so. Shall I do it for you? Can you? And Pratik is doing it right away. So An Anuj, give me your GoDaddy details first. Are you able to change the name server details for yourself by yourself? Have you changed the name server details? Yes, Pratik. Again, uh, I will give you in writing. Public, you have to go. I have said several times. Go for public, please. Anuj, uh, would you change your name server details yourself, or shall I help you with this? Give me your uh, GoDaddy details, then, please. Your GoDaddy details, username and password of your GoDaddy account from where you have purchased the domain. So you have purchased the domain from where? The username and password of the the of the website from where we have from where you have purchased the domain. You have the GoDaddy, please. You have seen me with that. I have helped three people. I think uh, three times I have shown this entire process of changing the name server, right? So, okay, guys, just uh, bear with me for another. So, Mukul, Anzanu, and Anuja, bear with me for another two minutes. I would be done with Anuj's account in a second. All right, so Anuj, can I have the password also, please? Anuj, can I have the password, please? I believe you're typing in. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, so try to show you the name server thing once again. I know you, most of you have got it, but just doing it once again. So once you log into your GoDaddy account, you have to go to the domain section. Go to the domain section and click on to domain settings. And then go underneath and click on to manage DNS. So that's what I've done. I've clicked on to manage DNS. And here I'm going to be changing across the name server by clicking on to change and then selecting custom. And the name server details which I gave you.
All right, so it's been done. And uh, now I have to help you out with your... So what's your domain name, Anuj? It's anujjain.in. All right. Okay, so last thing, guys, I'm uh, creating across one of the C panel once again, and then we'll be all on the same page. Pratik, uh, let me know if in case you need any help. Oh, is that so Pratik only credit card option is coming for that you have to call in the GoDaddy people. So guys, can anyone help Pratik? So is only getting credit card option. I think similar trouble you might have also got. How did you get rid of it? If anybody faced the same problem, Pratik is facing a problem. So I'm not sure about how to really get rid of this. Anyone else who had a similar problem, like uh, that only credit card option was coming in? All right, Anuja, you had the same problem. So how did you really get rid of it? Uh, if you can uh, let Pratik know about it. All right, so Anujji, I've also got across your username and password, right? And uh, now you can go ahead and type in across your website name forward slash cpanel. So guys, we're gonna now be on the same page now. All right. So it's gonna be anujjain.in forward slash cpanel. All right. So this is the URL, guys, login URL for your for your cPanel, for your cPanel, you have to go ahead and type in across your website name. I've written it across into my document. So open across the cPanel, username and password of the hosting provider. And uh, so the login URL of your cPanel is something like this, your website name forward slash whatever TLD you have selected. All right, so your website name forward slash cPanel. I know just says there is no other option. I suppose whenever I try to purchase through promotional package, you have to buy through credit card. Okay, so Pratik, you might have to really uh, find out or there's uh, someone, you have to you know take help from someone who's got a credit card and then you can let the other person yeah, you might have to then uh, maybe look for someone in your network who can help you with a credit card. So that's for, so, or you can try calling up, you know, GoDaddy at a later stage and ask from, for, you know, help from them. Okay, guys, so is everybody on the same page? Uh, when I say on the same page in the sense, see panel, this particular screen. Now, Anuj, are you able to see this screen by yourself? When you have logged into your C panel, Adanu, Anuj, Mukul are there on the same page, and I believe Anuja too. All right. Now, within the C panel, guys, now what we would be doing is we would be installing WordPress now. What all options, what all things we have done? We have purchased the domain, that was one. We have got the hosting, that was number two. We have connected the domain and the hosting, right? Number three, that part has been also done. And now number four, we are logging into our C panel. 
of our website, of our hosting server basically. And now we will be installing WordPress guys. WordPress, which is a CMS, okay? Now what you have to do is uh, just ignore the file section, ignore the database section. Guys, don't do anything uh, onto the cPanel till the time you're confident about something. Ignore the domain section and ignore the email account section as of now. Ignore matrices, security, and come on to the software section, okay? Don't do anything if you are not sure about any, uh, you know, sure about it because it, your experiment can really lead to a loss. So don't, don't click on anything which you're not sure about. Now we are installing across WordPress on our website. Click on to quick install, guys. Quick install. So I hope everybody can see this. Underneath software section, there is a tab, the very first tab, which says quick install. Click on to quick install, and I'm using across Anuja's cPanel right now. Anuja, I hope you are also doing it. I won't do it, you will do it uh, by yourself. I'm just using your account to show you what needs to be done. Now, after you have clicked on to quick install, this is the screen, guys, which each one of you will get to see. Okay. Now, with this particular screen, in this particular screen, when you will scroll down further down, you will see install Drupal section, install Zoomla, install WordPress, and uh, install Magento, and so forth. Now, these are various different CMS. These are various different content management system. We would be clicking on to install WordPress, okay? Click on to get WordPress, guys. Just click on to get WordPress. The moment you have clicked on to get WordPress, this is the next screen which you will get. This is the next screen which you're gonna get. And uh, if everybody's on the same page, now Anucha, I won't do it for you. You will do it yourself. You would have to click on to install WordPress now, okay? You all are there on the same page. Perfect. Click on to install WordPress. So Anuja, I'm on to your account. I'm not doing it. You can do it. The moment you want to click on to install WordPress. Okay, do it. Perfect. I'll go ahead and uh, share across screen. Uh, someone else screen, I can go ahead and share across. Let me just see how can I All right, uh, Atanu, you've uh, lost it. No, okay, no problem. I'll just repeat it once again. So I'm going back again. When you're there under your C panel, in your C panel, I was saying ignore the file section, ignore the database section, ignore the domain section, ignore the email section, ignore the matrices section, ignore security, and just have a look at the software part, okay? In the software section, you've got quick install. Click and click on to quick install. The moment you're gonna click on, click on to quick install, this is the screen, Atanu, which you're gonna see. And here you will see several CMS installation tabs. You'll see install WordPress, install Drupal, install Zoomla, install Magento, all right? All of these. You have to click on to install WordPress. All right, click on to get WordPress, install WordPress section. The moment you're gonna get, click on to that, you'll get an option, install WordPress for free. In this install WordPress for free, you'll get install WordPress. You have to click on to that. You don't have to purchase anything. Once you will be done with install WordPress, the WordPress will get installed automatically and it will give you the username, password, and the login credentials of your WordPress. Make sure you do go ahead and save that, guys. Save the credentials, the WordPress username, WordPress password, and the login URL for your WordPress, guys. That will be provided to you. There's a form now. Uh, no, don't. No, you don't have to fill up any form. 
Shall I do it? Let me just. So, is that installed, Anuja? In full? There's a form. Okay, let me just. Uh, okay, it's. For Mukul, you have, Mukul, you have got it done. So, let me just click on to install WordPress. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. That form has to be filled up. I thought this is going to be installed automatically. So, in this form, that's correct. So, when you're there on this form, guys, what you have to do is you have to. Select your uh, domain, leave this part blank, type in across your admin email, your email address, type in any particular, uh, you're filling up the form, perfect. Fill up your first name, last name, what username you want, and your title for your website. So let's say, you know, fashion for fab, whatever, your, whatever you want your website to be named as, you know, to be known across. Your email address, your title, Title means the name of your, what exactly you want your website to be named as, or to be known as. And once you're done with that, then go ahead and click on to install WordPress. Then after clicking on to install WordPress, you'll get across the username and password. You'll get the username and password for your WordPress. Uh, don't type it in the block title, don't, in admin user. No, no, just type in any username, any username. Uh, okay, once again, I'll, I'm repeating again. Email address is pretty clear. First is in the form, you have to select your domain. That's pretty simple. And leave this particular option to be blank. Then type in across your email address. Block title can be like, you know, fashion for fab and uh, maybe by Anuja. That's the kind of a title you can type in. Your admin user can be anything. Let's say Anuja at one, two, three, whatever you want to type in. Your first name and last name are pretty simple. Your domain name is not to be entered anywhere. Anuj, what is your cPanel password I gave you in the uh, chat? What are you doing? Give me a second. I'll just give you once again, Anuj. Uh, check your chat above, you will find it. I'll, I'm giving it again. Your website name and blog title could be same. Yes, Mukul. Yes. Right. I hope Anuj, you have received it, and you can save across your cPanel username and password, guys. All right, Satano, it's complete for you. Anuj, you're getting an error. What does the error say? So, uh, have you received Athanu your username and password by WordPress? Has WordPress given you the username and password for your WordPress panel? Make sure you don't just leave that screen without saving that. Make sure you save that credentials, please. Nothing came up. All right, so wait, Anuja, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for you. Let me install, just trying to rectify it. All right, so guys, just, just leave it. I think I shall do this part also for each one of you. Let me, let me do it for each one of you and then you'll be good. Give me a second. So Anuja, I'll do it right across for you. So your WordPress is not being installed yet, right? So, okay, I'm, I'm showing it across for one of the domain.
All right, so here's the uh, admin username for you, Anuja. And can you give me your first name and last name? You got the username and password, Tanu. That's good. All right, so what I've done, I've uh, written across all the details. I've filled up the form. I'm clicking on to install WordPress. Now, don't go ahead and uh, do anything over here. Don't click anywhere on this pop up, guys. Just close it. All right. And it says your install is complete. When your install is going to complete, it would be done. Click on to view credentials, and here are your credentials, guys. Yes, it can be changed at a later, uh, later period, at a later on, absolutely. Okay. All right, so Anuja, it's been done for you, and here are your credentials. All right, make sure you save that across. So username was being selected by us, but the password has been given across by WordPress themselves. Now this is not going. Okay, this is this has been configured pretty soon. That's good. So is everybody on the same page? Have you got the credentials like this? Once you have installed WordPress, so for Anuja, it's been done. Atanu, you have also got the details like this, right? And how about Anuj and Mukul? Mukul, you've got it. Perfect. And Atanu, you've also got the credentials like this. Your WordPress credentials. I'm sorry, Anuj, for what exactly you're saying with blog. How to save this? Save it across on a particular document, please. Yeah, you can copy and paste this across on a Microsoft Word document or whatever. All right, so Mukul is good, Anuja is good, and I believe Atanu, you have also got it. Anuj. Atanu, you're good. Anuj, anything I can help you with? Anuj, uh, just waiting for a reply from you. If, if there is something I can help you with. Did you follow the same procedure? I'm not sure whether Anuj is there or not. Okay, guys, so uh, what we'll do, okay, this will take some time for WordPress to also get configured. Uh, Pratik says, I've got ID people are saying it's only possible from credit card. Okay, then you might have to really uh, Take help from someone. Difficulty in understanding what Prithi. What portion? So, you know, you would have to find out somebody who can help you with the not getting what Prithi, what what part, just be specific. See, once you would be able to purchase your domain, Pratik, uh, you would have to take take help from someone in terms of getting across a credit card. Once you will get that from someone and you'll be purchasing cheap on WordPress, uh, you, you're not able to get it because you don't have the domain right now, right? It's it's okay, you'll get it once you'll, uh, so try to find out a credit card from somewhere and then get the domain up, okay? And once that would be done, the cPanel, I will configure it for you, don't worry. So it's it's okay. You will be Anuj, you're you're done with installation. Then you will be able to get the WordPress set up. I'll help you, don't worry. So you get the domain set up first and I'll give you the C panel and WordPress. Don't worry. Okay, so Anuj, you have also got the details with your, your WordPress details, right? Each one of you have, each one of you have got the WordPress details. Okay. Now we'll take a 10-15 minutes a, a short break, and then after the break, guys, we'll uh, start with WordPress. Okay, so the WordPress has been installed, guys. We've got the hosting set up, we've got the hosting and server connected, 
we have uh, got the C panel up. The C panel credentials are there with you. And after the C panel credentials, we have gone on to the WordPress section, but the WordPress installed and the WordPress credentials are also there with you. We'll take a 10, 15 minutes break. And then after the break, we'll start with WordPress. Okay. So I'm going to be on mute for, I'm going to be on mute till the, uh, till the break. And then after the break, we'll, we'll start, start the next step. Okay. Are we all good? Can I get a confirmation? Okay. Thanks Mukul and thanks Anuja for acknowledging. Okay, so I'm going to be on mute right now. 